This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to cover, 6 amazing tips and tricks of After Effects. So, let's get started. The first trick is a taper stroke. This feature, only available in the latest version of After Effects. So let's create a new shape. Go to the tools, and select the pen tool. I am using the stroke only, with a stroke size of 100 pixels. Let's quickly create a shape like this. In the older version of After Effects, the stroke always looks like this. Not so attractive. But the latest update of After Effects fixed this problem. If you go to the timeline, and expand the shape layer, contents, shape 1, and then stroke 1. Scroll to the bottom, and here you will find the taper option. Simply open it, and now we have the option for changing the start length, if you change the value of it, you can make the stroke tapered. This is really cool. Let's click on this add button, and then add trim paths on it. I am adding a keyframe on the end, and placing the keyframe on one second position. Now change the end value to 0%. And this is how the stroke animation looks now. The tapered stroke works perfectly. If you want, you can also decrease the start length value of the taper. And it will create this nice looking hairline. Which was not available in the previous version of After Effects. Let's move to the second point. This is called the Auto Scale Text Box. It can be done in any version of After Effects. For creating an auto scale text box, simply go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. Now we will apply some inbuilt presets on it. So go to the effects and the presets, and search for the shift channels. Apply it onto the text layer, and then change take alpha from, to full on. Then apply another effect on it. It is called the fill. Place it right below the shift channels, and change the color of it. We will use it to change the color of the box. You are free to use any color you want. But the problem is, the text is not visible at all. Let's fix it. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC composite. Place it right below the fill effect, and the text will be visible now. The only problem is the box spacing. We need to increase the size of it. Let's do it. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the CC rip tile. Place it right above the CC composite, and then change the expand right value to 50, or any number you want. Make sure to keep the exact value for all the sides. And now it's done. You can change any text, and it will update the box right away. In case you want to change the color of it, then change the color from the fill. Also, for changing the color of the text, you can do it from the character window. Pretty easy, right? By the way, you can download this preset from the link in the description. The third technique is the keyboard shortcuts. You can learn every single keyboard shortcut, as well as customize them. So, right in the After Effects, go to the Edit, and then click on the keyboard shortcuts. You can also use the short command of it. A new window will appear, with all the single shortcuts of After Effects. You can hover the mouse cursor on any key, and it will show the work of that specific shortcut. Pretty cool. If you want, you can always customize any of these keyboard shortcuts. For customizing any specific key, simply select that command, and delete the previously assigned key, by clicking on this cross icon. Then double click in this area, and type the key, which you want to use. 
you can customize every single key of the After Effects. Each single shortcuts are arranged in their specific panel, which you can switch from here. For example, if you want to customize the character shortcuts, then switch to the character and paragraph panel. As you may know, some of the shortcuts work with the modifier's keys, such as Control, Shift, Alt, Command, or Option key. So if you select the modifier key combination, it will show all the commands using them. This is really helpful, if you have just started learning the After Effects. The next technique is Solo Properties, where you can solo the specific properties, using the shortcut keys. Let's say, you are working on a very complicated project, where you have applied many effects and presets on layers. This is how it looks most of the time. But you don't always use every single property here. So we are going to bring only the specific properties in front, which we are going to use. So that we can save some space in the timeline. So select the properties, which you want to use in the project, while holding the control, or command key on your keyboard. After selecting the properties, simply hit the S key double time, and it will minimize all other properties, except the selected one. Pretty useful. The fifth tip is the anchor point in shape layer. Let's see, how to easily align the anchor point to the center of the shape. Let's quickly create a shape layer. Go to the tool, and select the shape tool. I am using this star shape. By default, the anchor point of the shape is not always in the center. It stays in the center of the composition. But you can place it in the center very easily. Just right click on your shape layer, go to the transform, and choose center anchor point in layer content. Or use the shortcut key. It will fix the problem. But you have to do it every time when creating a shape. But we can change the default setting of it. So, go to the edit, and then preferences. Here choose the general. A new window will appear. Now, simply check this center anchor point in a new shape layer, and then hit OK. Now every time when you are going to create a new shape, the anchor point will be in the center of it. Cool. And the last technique is changing the layer order. You can reverse the layer order very easily. Let's see how it works. Let's take an example of these layers. Right now the top layer is called the layer 9, and the bottom layer is called the layer 1. If you want to reverse the layer order, you have to place the layers individually. But it can be the real pain, when you are working on many layers. You cannot do it manually. Let's see, how can we do it very easily. So select the layer first, which you want to be the top layer, and then press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, to select the multiple layers at once. Now select the layer, which you want to be placed at the bottom. Now cut the layer, by pressing the Ctrl, or Command X, on your keyboard. And then press Ctrl, or Command V, to paste the layer. It will reverse the layer order. Make sure to select the layer, as I have mentioned earlier. If you select the top layer first, and then the last layer, after cutting, and pasting, the layer sequence will remain the same. So, select the layer first, which you want to place on top, and then the second layer, which you want to be placed at the bottom. Then cut, and paste, to make it work. Cool. So, this is it for today. If you liked this video, then let me know in the comments. I will make more videos like this. You can also support me on Patreon, to help me produce more content like this. You will find the link in the description. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description. Yeah.